Hello everyone and welcome to a smash look at IOPS 2. He's either Cubes 2 or IOPS 2. I'm not entirely 100% sure this game does come from you from Codrier. Frazier as always and well, this other game is basically a strategy title but you, the, the thing that's quite different about this is basically you put in the sort of buildings and then you leave it to do its thing. So you, it's almost like a god simulator game. You do the little bits from the top and then let them do what they can. So, there is a, well we're on tier 1 server at the moment, we're in East Empire, you can actually go into the config, you've got lots of graphics here, not as much as I would like to see, but with the styling of the games you can see in the background, it's all cubes, it's all these little guys. And you've got more, obviously you have the audio, which is nicely split apart, which is excellent. So you can change anything like that, you can change your account, you can play the game, you can exit back to, back to work or whatever, you know. <laughs> I'm loving the music already. You can actually just click this away and just have a look at the world. I mean, the effect, especially the water as well, is quite impressive. It's pretty impressive. But like I said, you have to basically, so you can select, you can start a tutorial. So we're just going to do that just now. So the battle starts from here. So you can actually right click allows you to do that. And you can scroll around if you wish. You can zoom up and down. So this tutorial will take a couple of minutes to teach you what it's doing. To move around, you simply drag, hold your left mouse button to move around. So you can actually do this and move around in the world if we want. Oh god, I made myself sick. And of course, we want to bring ourselves back over to here. Use your mouse wheel to move up and down the camera, of course. You can do this. And we wish to move back over to here. Don't be afraid you'll get used to the spherical world. Basically, the world, it, it, it's all a spherical world. So I think Planetary Annihilation is going to be doing that. So use your mouse wheel to move up and down. Don't be afraid you'll get used to the spherical world. We've got uh, some food coming in, actually. Just noticed. Uh, I wish to go forward, please. Thank you. Oh, forward. There we go. All right, so you can likewise use the arrow keys to move the camera. So you can actually do this. Move the arrow keys if you want to. We can move ourselves across. And then zoom. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. So, you can likewise use arrow keys to move that there. You can see here, strafe left and right, and you can actually use the shift as well. So you can, if it lets me, that is. Nope. So you now are the red team. So we're these little guys, of course. You. This is your red totem. This is your starting point where you're going to build your city right here. The important rule is you have to control... You have a, to control your oops, even though you can't control them, not directly. So watch them carefully to learn the logic and mechanisms. The more you'll learn about them, the more you'll be able to lead them precisely. Enough, let's stop. Let's just, so right click on the ground. And uh, let's see, I need to build a house, apparently. Nope. Zoom in a little bit, there we go, whoa, whoa dear. Right, so right click, and we're going to select a house. Okay, so we're going to swing this around, and we have a house here. Just like that. And then we just pop it down. Alright, so that's it. The big arrow floating above the land is called the signal. Your oops are going to show up and build the house by themselves. Houses and barracks are key buildings as they extend your population cap. So you see down here, there's these buildings. That we can... Oh, look at this little guy. Look at him. Get him to work there. Get him to done. So we get 5% done, so... We're waiting for the house to be finished. It's only a matter of seconds now. More will pop up here. So you see here, population's four of zero right now. So we're all gonna get started on that. That's so cool. And once that is done, there you go. So the more that's there, the quicker it's gonna build. You know. And there you go. Okay, so that's it. The house is now done. And our population's increased to 10. So your first house is now done. Your, your oops, or oops, I don't get are now automatically cloning themselves, they will always try to reach the maximum population. You now have your idols are walking across the map in search of food, idols always try to do something useful for their community. You need more. Let's build a second house. Okay, let's do that. So we'll select that and we'll put it right next to it. You can also need more food to get fast population growth. Don't wait for your house to finish and start building two farms. Alright, so we want to switch across to this. I'm going to click that and we want to... I mean, it seems to be we can only build it on the green, so let's put one there. And then we'll put one other. I mean... Did I just build two on top of each other? Click that, there we go. Another house there. Excellent. Our population is now up to 20. Oh, you guys are way up in the mountain there. It's like, hi, bye-bye. Like, whistles. Things to be done. Ah, it seems to be they're actually building a ring next to it. That's good, that's good. 
Excellent. Now what we want to do is maybe just build another farm because why the heck not? Put it there. Yep. Ah, they did actually build that right next to it. Excellent. So we have a 500 food coming in there. Nice bits of food there. The idols are 25%. You just speed there. So, small hint. Food production would be more efficient with a mill or granary around, but you'll try this later by your own. Your very basic vi village is effective. Time to talk about war. Move around the map to find your enemy's village. It shouldn't be that far. Seek the blue totem. Let's go. Hello, blue totem. Oh, I see a blue thing over here. What is that? Ah, hello. This is basically what you have to destroy. Look easy? Sure, but that's only a tutorial. Now we have to build new stuff. Let's go back to red totem. Wait, wait killed two? Dead one? Who? What? When? They're all just going out and doing their own thing, apparently. These guys are working away in this. Ah, this is so cool. I mean, it takes away... It's, there's no sort of micromanagement. You just have to do everything to try and, you know, make them do stuff for you. Like, they're all... These guys are way out and swimming. They're just like, bye. <laughs> well then. All right, so... You're going to need some stone to build the war units, and to get stone you need to build a stone pit. And as this building is made of wood, it might make sense to build it near trees. Fair enough. Let's see. Where is it? Stone pit. Alright, let's put that there. Construction can require mixed resources like wood, stone, water, even forge resources. So learn where to place buildings that will utterly influence construction time. So obviously this is right next to a nice wee tree, which is going to help us out in that point. And you know what, while they're doing that, we could build another... This requires some sand, so we're just going to put it... Can I put it there? Is it possible to put it there? Along with another one right there. And another one there. Along with another farm right there. Excellent. That should uh, severely increase our population. There we go, another one done. Excellent. Another one done. Excellent. Oh, sweet. Right, we need to watch our food is uh, quite vastly low. Uh, we have a quite a bit. Why is that building over there? I don't know. Wait, why is there a tombstone? Do I even want to know why is there a tombstone? All right, we do look like we need more farms. So let's put that there. There we go, excellent. There we'll get to work. I need to swing the camera around a little bit. There we go. Lots and lots of food there. Okay, so construction can require mixed resources. So we've done that there. So great, now it's time to build a warrior's unit. Drop it near your pit. Let's see, so that's a stone pit. Warriors, okay. So we'll drop it near here. You're afraid a continuous battle squad fighting any enemy. Wait in its completion and watch out. So they'll get to work on that now. There's, you know, we've got the stone pit there. What is this over here? I think we need more of this. Put another one in there. So we have eight there and you can keep on working on that. Jeez Louise, that is building really quickly. So you can have up to 10 builds going any time. What the hell? Uh, okay. Follow your spawning warriors to an enemy village. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> go, little warriors, go! <laughs> ah, they're attacking. Looks like they're setting up fires, to be honest, from themselves. But what the? They just take off. <laughs> oh, that is really cool. I'm very chuffed with that. We can swing this around a little bit, and there we go. No, we've won, essentially. So, let's play a solo game versus a computer. We're going to go medium and see how we get on. So, obviously, forward, left, turn, right. You know, you can page up and down, strafe, left, and right. And let's do this. All right. So, we want to start off with a house. I'm going to put the houses here. And another one right next to it get our population going as quickly as we can come on chop chop guys ah, so 
I mean, you don't have direct influence of where it kind of goes. It's just like, you know, I want a house in this general vicinity. There we go. We do seem to be on a de desert map. We have another totem over there. Is that our totem? Is that a, fr a bad totem? I can't quite tell. All right, that is that done. Excellent. So the population has increased a little bit. Now we can build up a farm, which we want to put around... You know, I'll put it there. Excellent. Another house done. Another house done. Probably could do with another house this back behind that. And then we will then add this in. There we go. So ideally, like I said, it is almost like a god sim where you're actually, you, you're kind of doing the overarching things and then hoping they kind of follow suit. Which they, they tend to. Mostly. <laughs> so now we're in skirmish mode, essentially, so you can actually see how this is going to work out for us. So there we go, there we go. I don't want to destroy that. No thank you. Now our population will increase as the food comes in, which will be nice. Now we can actually see here, you've got a granary, which we want to put near this anyway. Why don't we put another farm? And then we'll pop down a granary right next to it. Alright, so we've got a tower, we've got a stone pit. Now we do need a stone pit near some trees, so let's put, I'm guessing that's trees. I'm hoping that's trees. You've got a range of other things, like you see here, you know, the catapult, knight, sanitarium, gold foundry, water tank, army, totem, iron forge. Outpost, Pyromancer, Warriors, Barracks, Mill, lots and lots of stuff here. So, basic defense system will prevent early attacks. So let's pop that there. And we'll pop one here. Just as a sort of precautionary thing. We will then switch. I mean, we can't unlock that, can we? We can't build that. Fine, be that way. But we are going to do that, that, and that. And then we're going to get some more houses in. And there we go. They are getting to work on that pretty nat nappily there. Speed is 114%. We do need our food to be done. There we go. More food is done. Excellent. How many look, look at the bottom? This is 90% done, which is not bad. I think that's that one there actually, which is great. And we do have the stone bit down there, kind of taking away the trees there, which means that we can go for the mill. So we'll give it to the collection bonus. So let's pop the, the mill right next to that. And we will then also get a barracks. So this requires some food. So let's pop that down there, I think. And that's them two done. Superb. We want to get some warriors as well. Let's pop that there. I love how you can see them up the top just kind of keeping, you know, keeping out there, just like making sure nothing happens. We do need to get more houses though. And that's some houses done. That's another house done. Excellent. And another house done. Superb. I don't know which way the enemy is yet, but we'll soon see. We do have some, well, they're building that actually. And that is getting built as well. 120%, 2% idle, we do have a 70% population, so we're probably going to need to do a little bit more in the population side of things, because we don't have as much. And there we go. Oh, you can't build this. Fine. Be that way. We've built as many as it will allow us to build. For now, anyway. And there we go. And that is that one done as well. Warriors will start spawning out and heading across the world because it looks like we've got some tribe members coming in here. And there we go. They're going to attack them. And poof. See them firing off the little fire bolts there, which is excellent. I mean, do we have anything else? Oh. Guys are just fighting in the water there. Oh, there seems to be some other, another tribe over here somewhere close by, maybe. Oh my. Okay. That's not good. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we have a, you, you can have a field now, which is a lot better. 
Let's see. And outpost. Huge defense system can defeat large waves of enemies, but take care not to assign too many oobs to such towers. It can lead to some disaster for your growth. An iron forge will gather stone. Essential for more advanced buildings. Let's put that in amongst that. Because we can't build any more houses at the moment, unfortunately. Could put another granary right there. No. That's the barracks. We've got warriors. Uh, farming, defending. What if we destroy that just now? And then do one of these in its place. We have a huge amount of food coming in though, which is great. We got a nice wee farm going up there now. And you can actually destroy these and we can actually just replace them as we're going along with the fields. So it's going to give us a little bit more food anyway income. So warriors are heading out there. That's getting built. Are we still okay over here? Let's put one of them over there so we can defend that totem. Let's see. An armory. So improve 50% of the armor. That, what is this? War tank. Abbots will try to fix any damage building. Quite useful if you're experiencing some stone rain. A gold foundry. Build this near gold ore for an efficient production. Check for cracks in the ground. Let's see. Cracks in the ground. Cracks in the ground. Where are you? Ah, hello. And then put that there. So each totem gives 10% life point bonus and will make your villagers beat enemies off. Take care of them since they can only be built once. So let's put another one in there. And armory. Let's put that there. Iron Forge. Do we want an Iron Forge or do we... Maybe put another set of warriors, actually. Let's put you guys there. And then we'll put you guys there. And we'll put you guys there. Too many constructions in progress. Well, dang it. <laughs> We're getting to work to everything, which is great. There's lots of dead bodies apparently peering up everywhere. Which isn't that good. You can see fights going on up here. We've got buildings going on. We've got what defending going on. I mean, we've got some enemies over here. Warriors are spawning out. Really need to get some things built here. I mean, we do have a, a lot of things going on, actually. Probably not a... It, oh, there is a gold. There's gold right there as well. Can I put that there? Oh, well. Well then. Building is uh, going up and down because we do have warriors spawning in. Defending, we've got farming, towering, warriors, 10 of 10. Once the other ones start to spawn in, we will get more warriors. Uh, now, we're going to leave that there just in case that breaks in. But we do have that up and running, which is great. This will be up and running as well soon enough. Warriors are coming in quite nicely. I mean, fight's going over here. So, yeah, this... This is what it is, though, is you, you can do only do so much and then have to kind of hope for the best, in a sense. There's no micromanagement. It's more like you just, you know, build what you can, and then the, the AI is what's controlling it. It's got quite advanced AI, which is great. There we go. That's that totem up and running, which is superb. It's going to bring ourselves over here just now while we have a wee look here. Right, so we could have a gold right there. Put the gold right next to that. That'd be superb. No, gold foundry is nearly done there. We do have lots of barracks and warriors going up, which will help us out a lot as well in the roll learn. Because basically, the like 
you've got your basic population, but then it kind of splits apart. I mean, we don't have any pyromancers. Um, our warriors keep getting taken out, it seems. Come on, that's a go foundry up and running. Excellent. Oh, I heard some shooting there somewhere. There's a lot of death happening over the years. These guys are kind of pushing in here, so we kind of need to get that up and running as quickly as we can. This is nearly built, so that will give us a good foothold to defend. That's getting built. This is nearly built, the outpost, which is this one, I believe. These guys are holding here just and no more. I mean, there's a fight going over here constantly as well. This is nearly done, actually, which will be excellent for us. So 94, 95. Come on. There we go, another one up and running. That allows us to have up to 20 now, which is going to be excellent for us. I'm just going to wait for some of these other things to be done, though. There we go, more warriors are off in that way. And more... Oh, jeez, Louise, look at them all going over there. There's hundreds of them. Well, maybe not hundreds, but still. There we go, they are now marching across there. They'll be marching right into this base over here, which is quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot indeed. But if you keep coming around here... You're going to find our base. <laughs> so either way, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be things on either side. There's an armory about to be complete. And one more, one more. Come on. Come on, guys. One more. Just one more. There we go. That's the armory up and running now, which is superb. So we can have up to 30 warriors are going as well. And what we might want to look at is sanitarium. So reduces our... Uh, restores out can be can only fix physical traumas not emotional ones we have the knights and we have the catapult not really catapult but more of a kind of weird mechanism throwing stones at on towers your troops will truly appreciate its efficiency to open the way hmm let's see we want to get this somewhere let's put that in there and then we want to get some knights going as well so let's put knights over here and here and we will then put a some outpost pyromancer round about here. There we go. Lots and lots of warriors in there. Holy crap. They are marching across there. The fight going on here. Oh, no. We're not going to be holding this anytime soon. So, guys, get in there. Our food is dropping quite fast. So, we need to actually get on our food right now. So, make sure we continue to have food coming in. Get a field right there. Another one there. Another one there. Too many constructions, damn it. Well, that's the thing. That gold foundry is about to be complete, actually, which is great. That, I believe it... Is that complete yet? No, I think that's this one. Yes, that is that one. There we go. Gold foundry is now done, which is superb. Lots and lots of warriors going in there, which is great but we need to see are they gonna hold there uh, there's a lot of fights going on here in this water for some reason uh, we do have 30 24 warriors are on the field but they're all going that way <laughs> need to try and somehow force them to go that way a little bit what else have we got here I mean we could have another barracks which allows uh, storage house for made of wood and stone which can resist way more way longer to attacks but will take so much time to build Oh, it's a stronger house. Oh. I wish to have some of these, please. That would actually give us a huge population boost. Uh, we do need to work on a farm, though. So let's see. We're going to wait for things to start to complete a little bit so we can actually have some guys working on sort of things. Because uh, obviously you see the buildings going less and less because more are getting into certain things. So we do need to... That outpost is about to be complete. At some point in the near future. <laughs> 99. And there we go. Right. Superb. That is that. That's going to help us out. Now we do want to focus on getting barracks. So, so let's place another barracks here. And another one there. There we go. The field is complete as well. Right, let's see. We do have knights are getting built. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. You need to get in there. We need fighting, guys. Come on. Warriors, get in there. There you go. Push them back. Excellent. 
I mean, we're keeping our idols quite low, which is superb. I mean, we've killed 336, but lost 300. Jeez Louise. <laughs> we've lost the same amount as we've killed, nearly. I mean, that's at 1%. That's fairly... Barracks aren't quite high. How, what do we need for this? Takes a lot to... Yeah, it's not telling me how... What, so we need 445 sand, 300 wood, and... Eh, quite a lot, actually. Stone pit. I uh, need you another one down here. Could actually put a stone pit up here for all these trees and that. We are keeping our warriors quite high. Um, we are kind of keeping the pushback key. Uh oh, never mind. I take that back. You can also, you know, see control the philosophy of the game at any time you wish. Defending. We do have a lot defending actually. How many of these towers taken? Jeez. What I might do is get rid of you. And then we might get rid of you. Just to give us that sort of momentum. There we go. Whoa! Wow! That is a huge amount. There we go. Stone Pit is nearly done as well. Stone Pit is now complete. Superb. The barracks are getting done, so we need we need to focus on getting the barracks up and running because then it's going to give us a lot more people that we can actually have. Knights are about to be complete. Excellent. The knights are now complete. So we'll start getting some knights coming in. Wow. They cost 800 a pop. Holy crap. Well, we need more of this then. Fields are never a bad thing to have, really. I mean, they're easy. They're, they can take a little while to grow, but I mean, once they are up and running, it's perfect for us. Oh my God! There's so much war going on here. Damn! I mean, we've got ten knights in the field. No idea where they actually are. And they're somewhere. <laughs> uh, that's eighty percent, which is great. What is this one? What is this? That's a sanitarium. We are pushing out quite nicely. We Pyromancer is nearly done. Uh, we have a barrack at 50% and one at 40%, which will give us more people in the field. Because it's not like your basic ones can't do anything. They just tend to do more of the, the building. Uh, they are starting to push in there. I'm not too happy about that. Come on, guys. Come on. Bil we don't have many building. We have a lot defending. A hell of a lot defending, mind you. Jeez. I mean, a lot of our stuff are getting taken into things, so we do need to get things sorted out here. Where's this one? Let's destroy that just now. Get rid of that. Knights are now done. Because obviously our population is going to be split apart here, so we may have 20 knights, but then we have less people building and getting food. So we're going to have less actually getting done here. Hmm. Come on, barracks, please. Where's this? Right, we're going to get rid of that as well, just now. So we want to try and get the barracks up and running as quickly as possibly can. Because that's going to allow us to get more everything. I might cancel that as well, just now. Just so we can actually use the resource. That, so that's that up and running, which is excellent. But we need the barracks to get up and running, so they're building, which is superb. They're building that up quite nicely. So that's that one, that's that one, where's that? Oh, so all three of them are there. Damn it, why'd you build them there? We are fighting holding this line here, and they are spreading their cross, which is nice. So, we're doing okay. Our speed is at 196, damn. Just need to wait on these getting built. I want to build a, ca a catapult. Let's put that there. And that there. Because having more food income is never going to be a bad thing. It's going to keep our warriors on the field. I mean, we've got our warriors maxed out and our knights maxed out, which is great. I mean, we have this here that's kind of like defend, keeping that at bay. And our warriors seem to be kind of fanning out this way quite well. So we're doing okay. How are you guys doing here? Doing alright? You doing okay? Oh! 
We have a barracks up and running. There we go. 180 is now up and running. And now there will be... Oh, we actually have... No, nope, that one's not done. Well, there we go. Food is done. Building is done. Uh, two of the fields are done. Which is excellent. Uh, what we should do... So that uh, increases our food storage. So let's see. Let's put that there. And that one there. And that one there. So granary will be good. Stone pit mill... So look how quickly they build them up when there's actually like enough builders going around. It's insane. There we go. You can see our food storage is exponentially increased. And that barracks is up and running. So we can build five of these. We can only build another one, sadly. But there we go. That's that up and running. Let's build another warriors there. And we'll build another warriors here. And the one there. How many of these? You can build 10? Holy crap. You know what? Let's build them. <laughs> uh, probably want to try and get Pyromancer going in soon. I mean, we do have a lot of buildings. Or builders, should I say. Iron Forge. Forge will turn gathered materials essential for more advanced buildings. So let's just do that. You know what? Let's put Catapult somewhere. Where do I want to put it? Here. Why don't you building down there? I don't know, but oh well. I guess that's just going to happen. We have 260 population and 170 of that are all building stuff, so we should be pretty damn good for stuff. We just have to hopefully beat the team. I mean, we're at 60 people. They have a lot of stuff. Although, I've just realized that we are pretty close to pushing in there. Oh, no, we got forced back. Ah, they're away in there. No. Okay, never mind. They were away in there, but... More warriors. We have up to 40 warriors spawning in. And we have a lot of food produce projects going on, so we are actually keeping up with everything. Let's see. We want to have the farms in as much as possible as well, so... And then we'll get some fields going as well. Just to obviously improve our amount of food we're coming in. Oh, we'll get pyromancers. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pyromancer Zorowski. Farm is done. Superb. We want to make sure that we continue to have a, a lot of food coming in because our food has dropped way down. Our food production is tiny right now. So obviously with that being there, we are not producing as many units as we need to. I don't know where they're actually building the farms out. Where are you building the farms? It seems to be they're keeping them here, which is good. That's okay then. We have up to 60 warriors. Holy crap. Are they all the way around here? And they're all crossing the battlefield. Oh, a fight, big fight's going on over here. Damn. As long as we can keep these up, that'll be cute. They are pushing in. Oh my god, they are actually getting in there. That is pretty cool. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this game. Because obviously, it's sort of a strategy title. But it's a god simulator where you, you're kind of like... You're expecting it to do its own thing by giving them the sort of motivation, in a sense. There we go, got a couple of new farms in. You think they've got enough people here? I think we do. What we might look to doing is getting some sort of thing set up here to try and keep them back. We're doing not bad at all. Our food income's still a little bit uh, lacking, so I'm just going to start to spawn in a lot of these guys. Just to try and get our food income really... Up and running. Because our warriors have basically half. That's the only problem. These guys are all coming back here, which is great. There we go. Full farming, which is not bad. And there we go. That's at 90, 92. The catapult is now done. Nearly. The catapult is done. No idea what they actually do with that. 
let's have a wee watch of this, see what they do. Hello guys, how you doing down here? You having fun? Wait, what? What the hell? Where did that go? That seriously just... There's fire and random rocks. Okay then, that's totally okay with me. Our food production is increasing, but we're going to continue to just spawn in farms right now. Just until we can't really build any more of them. That is actually really cool. Just fires random rocks. We are at 72% here, so we are nearing basically controlling these guys, which is great. Or winning. Jeez Louise, that is a... Oh, wow. And are we in? Uh, will they be able to push the tower down? I'm not entirely sure. No. Oh, uh, a lot of things are on fire, though. Damn. That is a... That's a lot of them. You can see we've killed 1,700. 1,100 has died, though. So we got another warrior stack there, so we can have a lot more warriors coming in. But we need to have the food for it. Right, farms. I think that's all we can do for farms. Let's get fields going. I'm just spawning these really, really quickly, as fast as I can, so we can actually get... Uh, as much income and food as we can because our warriors are w oh no they're back up to 57 never mind then what else have we got then well we can have another field and another field can I try and get it over here it'd be nice if it stayed over there but obviously it's not going to do it if there's no space so we have all these fields getting done there we go that's done you know what? We have enough for another field. It's because we like we're keeping our things up, but basically, as soon as we have the food, it's been used. There we go. Okay, let's have a wee look here. So we have the granary towers are done, stone pits, uh, mill. Well, we could have a mill over here probably, and another mill over there. We've got the barracks. You can't build. Any of this, unfortunately, might as well reach the building. We can have more of these warriors. Damn. There we go. That is one. Yeah. So it, Iobs is very much a game that you're kind of putting in the foundations and hoping for the best in a way. You can play online against uh, anybody you want, so you can actually play anybody you want. No, oh, I didn't want to go into another battle yet. Thank you. Cancel this game. Yes, I failed. I know. I know, game. I know. So you can actually go into this and you can play, you know, improve your skills. Normal, medium, hard. You can play it in anything you want to. You can, you can just start from there and build a nice wee house. Let's put that there. And you want to just, you know, have them all come across because you've only got five so far. You have them all across and the whistles, the other ones coming across and, you know, the AI interacts with each other. It's like, you know, they, they know it's going to be faster the more they put on it. And, you know, you see this is going to build up quite quickly. So you let them do their job. And then you can, you know, just get ready with putting in another house. Once that one is done. There you go. Put another one. And there we go. Our population cap has increased. Our food is going up. So th you do have foragers. But you have them just getting in there. And got defending guys there. There's two houses up and running now. And we could put a nice wee farm. And you can also, we've got a bit of good land over there. We've got good land over here too. So if we put that in, just a couple of farms, and then you could switch back to this. You could even, uh, you know, pop them there. Because you do have a population that are kind of growing there now, and they'll get to ready that. So guys, this would be IOBS 2, or Cubes 2, uh, one or the other. The Steam link's down below, so thank you very much for watching this Smash Look at it. Shall see you all next time.